In this video, I'm going to show you the AI prompt extender feature. Okay, so this is where it is. It's the last uh, tab here before we have personal designs and community designs, right? So basically what this AI prompt extender does in a nutshell is that it creates an extended, more detailed version of a basic simple prompt. This is important because it's going to allow you to get more detailed, better quality output, right? So for example, if I do modern day living room, let's say like this, or even you just say modern living room, let's assume, right? Now, when you type this, sometimes you have specific requirements. Maybe you want a living room that's vibrant. Maybe you want a living room that uh, showcases a bookshelf. It has a sofa. You have other things, right? We don't uh, know what to write sometimes, and therefore the results don't come that great. So when we say something's basic like this, modern living room, and then we click on this extend prom button, what happens is click on it, and then what's going to happen is that it's going to create as the negative prompts as well as the pro positive prompts. If you recall, what is a positive prompt? Well, the positive prompt is the prompt that you want it to appear. A negative is what you don't want. Like say, for example, you create an image and you don't want it to have four hands. You're going to say, I don't want four hands, right? Then it's not going to have the four hands. That's basically the idea. You see here, it generated the entire detailed thing, a modern day living room uh, with a woman floating in the center, surrounded by planets that orbit. You can always make changes here, obviously, right? It's created using a uh, palette knife technique. Uh, this artwork is blah, 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 right? And then you have negative prompts here, which is, I don't want faces to be cut off. I don't want it to be out of frame. And also the hands should not be poorly drawn, blah, 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 right? So what you can do here is you can select these and you can copy uh, the positive and negative prompts, right? And you can basically go to AI image designer again and copy paste this area right here and select this photorealistic or whatever uh, area you want. Maybe you want architecture, doesn't matter click on generate design. So when you click on that, it's going to generate a much better quality design than if it was just a basic modern living room type of a prompt, right? So just keep that in mind and then that will give you a much better quality output. So that's the idea for the AI prompt extender feature where you start off with something small and it gives you a more detailed thing along with the negative prompts and all that kind of good stuff. So that way you have the entire output come out as great as it possibly can. All right. So enjoy using this feature within Artistly.